This morning, a deepening mystery around Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai. The former world number one doubles champion hasn't been seen or heard from in weeks since accusing a former top official of China's Communist Party of sexual assault. And now this. Chinese state media showed what it said was an email from Peng to the Women's Tennis Association, apparently recanting the allegations and saying everything's fine. The head of the WTA doesn't believe Peng actually wrote it. We definitely want to speak to her directly and make sure that she's okay. She knows that we're here to support her. Peng's disappearance and the wide-scale censorship of it here have stunned the tennis world. She won at Wimbledon in 2013 and the French Open the year after. It's honestly it's shocking, you know, that, that she's missing. Naomi Osaka adding her voice on Twitter. I hope Peng Shui and her family are safe and okay, she says. I'm in shock of the current situation, and I'm sending love and light her way. With the hashtag, where is Peng Shui, that has become a rallying cry on social media. That question has gripped China since November 2nd, when a letter was posted to Peng's verified social media account that detailed an alleged affair described as largely consensual with Zheng Gaolin, a former vice premier, and included a claim that he forced her into sex. Zheng retired in 2018 and could not be reached for comment. Within minutes, that post vanished, and Peng dropped from public view. Peng Shuai is one of China's biggest sports stars, but her online presence has been largely scrubbed. Like, when you search for her account, there's nothing there. The Chinese Tennis Association won't comment. China's foreign ministry won't address Peng or the allegations, telling NBC News it's not a question about diplomacy. This is an issue of right and wrong, and we have to stand behind this and insist on an investigation. Peng is a former Olympian. With thousands of athletes expected at Beijing's Winter Games, pressure is now mounting here to find answers and to find Peng Shuai. Janice, you talk about the pressure, the calls for the investigation, but does the Women's Tennis Association have any real leverage to kind of pressure China to give more answers here? Well, Savannah, the WTA has 11 tournaments here and a long-term deal worth over a billion dollars to hold the tour finals, yet they're threatening to boycott China if there isn't an investigation into Peng Shui's allegations and this censorship that has all but erased her from the Internet here. Look, companies and sports organizations, the NBA being a good example, uh, know that there are tripwires uh, to doing business in China and that challenging China can carry consequences. But on this, the WTA sounds firm. This is a claim of assault made by one of its players. And if there isn't transparency, the tour says it will consider walking away from China. Savannah? Janice, stay on it, Janice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.